Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. We're going to start off with our news director, Mike Elgin. Who is not known as a Windows phone aficionado. Not really. We're trying to woo you over. You yes. use an iPhone. I do. Oh, well, I've been using a Moto X, and then before that I had a Nexus oh, a phone. Oh, okay. So you're an Android uh, But I'm moving back to the iPhone because of the iPhone 6. Okay. Yeah, because it's gigantic. Well, I have to say, uh, those of us who've used the Nokia Lumias are very impressed with the hardware. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Nokia's got some of the best cameras in the smartphone market. Many people like the elegance of Windows Phone, so we thought we'd, we'd plague you with the brand new Nokia Lumia 1320. And I'm impressed. Uh, let me uh, tell you about the two essential qualities of this device. That is, it's huge. It's a six-inch six screen. I know, I love that gigantic. about my 1520. And yeah, this it, is pretty, it, pretty too. It's, let me it's start orange. this up. Yeah, it's, it's very, very nice um, and bright, and it's cheap. This is the Cricut uh, Wireless prepaid one, two seventy nine ninety nine. <gasps> wow. Yes. It's cheap and big. So this is a phablet that is really good. We're going to get into the details of how, of how good it is, but it's very inexpensive. Now, of course, normally the 1320 comes in orange, yellow, black, and white. This one is just orange because this is the Cricut Wireless. And, of course, Cricut is a prepaid wireless company that's owned by AT&T. And so they have orange. That's right. And this phone... <laughs> Only works on AT&T within the United States. All right. Okay. So it's a six-inch screen, 720p HD, so it's not a uh, super high-resolution screen. Okay. That's one of the ways they're saving money, okay. 20, 1280 by 720, and it's a 245 PPI screen, which is not very good. It's not super high-res as some of the, the, the bigger and better uh, phablets are. Okay. It's 7.76 ounces. That's pretty heavy. So this is a half-pound, basically. Half-pound uh. phone. Um, but again, part one of the reasons for that is it has a really big battery, and you get two days of battery life from this thing, which is <gasps> That's a really nice. great thing. Twenty-one hours, according to Nokia. Uh, and in my uh, in my uh, usage, I got a little bit better than that actually. Uh, it only has one gig of RAM. It's a, a Snapdragon S4, so it's not the latest uh, uh, and greatest, but the performance is very good. Microsoft is very good actually at getting a lot of performance out of uh, minimal. Um, a minimal hardware. Most of the uh, Windows phones have a gig, and that yep. seems to be plenty. In it fact, there's a lot good. with 512 megs. Yep, yep, and you see, there's just no, I have not it's seen snappy. any lag or yeah. any problems with this at all. Now, one of the downsides of this hardware-wise is, uh, is that it only has 8 gigabytes of built-in storage, and only 5.5 gigs of that is available to you because, uh, because Windows phone takes up so much of it in the other system software that Nokia puts into it. Now, its big brother, the 1520, has an SD card slot. Does this have an it, SD card it, slot? It does. Right. It does, in fact. And the camera, you mentioned that, that Nokia has really great cameras. This does not have a great camera. Mm -hmm. It has a very mediocre 5-megapixel rear oh, camera okay. and, a, and a VGA camera. So this Ooh. is not for camera fans at all. Uh, it's it's a good utilitarian camera for everyday use. The performance is so-so, but this is not a camera uh, photo fans uh, device at all. Uh, and, uh, okay, so it, it comes with lots of goodies on the software front. It uh, comes with Office, Xbox games, of course, uh, the Bing music identifier, Nokia Hear Maps, which are fantastic, and I'll get into why they're fantastic in just a sec. Uh, and it comes with lots of partner apps and so on. This does support NFC. So if you want to use Google Wallet or whatever, you can do that with NFC. Um, they're calling, it's interesting, they're calling this a business phone. They are, and it's kind of an odd thing. And and I think that, you know, it's perfectly great for somebody who is not going to use it for business. It's a great, in fact, <laughs> it's you, not a business you, phone. you know, we, we talk about like low cost and, and getting a big bang for the buck for yeah. various devices. But in fact, it's really the whole overall strategy for your mobile uh, life. This is a great strategy for that because basically one device at this low price serves as a, as a small tablet and also a big phone. That's what phablets are supposed to be all about. And this will do it for you at a very, very low price. And the fact that it's prepaid on Cricket, uh, there's some savings to be had there. Is as Cricket well, the know. only U.S. carrier that offers uh, the 1320? Uh, AT&T and Cricket are the only carriers. AT&T and Cricket. Okay. Exactly. Now, internationally, this is basically an international phone that, that uh, Nokia basically said, you know what, let's just go ahead and sell it in the U.S. Got too. It. Now, internationally, there's the LTE is fantastic on this. And you can get this really cheap on Amazon for the international version. So if you travel a lot and want a phone that's going to be great while you're abroad... This is a great phone for right. that. You can get it for literally less than $200 on AT&T, and then you'll get to take advantage of... Uh, I like that big screen. Phones. And, you know, 720p uh, for, on a big screen like that, 
That's not that bad. I mean, it takes close to Apple's, what Apple it's, calls retinas it, for it's pretty 200 good. Uh, DPI. Yeah, just, it's, yeah, it's really pretty good. Now, I'm going to show you, the, these pictures are not great. Uh, this yeah, is without bad. the flash. That's with the flash. Um, you know, this is sort of still life and so on. Yeah. It's not horrible, you know. But that's probably but why they're not, saying it's a business phone. It's not... Yeah, it's super, not an enthusiast. Yeah. Um, and is it the it's the latest Windows uh, Phone eight point one? That's and exactly that right, and, and it's it's just fantastic. Now this is um this is also running at a sort of a, a Nokia mod that that puts the tiles full screen like this and 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 gives it a little bit of a performance boost, which is really nice. Nokia Black, I believe it's called, uh, and that is really nice. There's lots of downloadable okay. goodies. It's now, cyan. All now right. let me give you an example of, of of how this this can be really cool. Now it has um, there are multiple tiles here for the here mapping software. There are two actually. There's here maps and here drive. Right. One of the great things about here I, I'm discovering is that. You can download offline maps. So you can download the entire state of California, right? And then you, without a connection, you can drive around. Isn't and, that great? And it's really convenient, really nice. Uh, and, of course, it has uh, every region and every... In, Microsoft licensed the world. here for Windows Phone, but Nokia still owns here. And yes. they've decided already to make it available on other phones. So yeah. that's interesting. Yeah. It's Because it was a competitive advantage for Windows Phone that's right. when it was just Nokia. That's right. yeah. yeah, absolutely. I really like the Here Maps. I agree with you. Yeah, now the pros are that it's big and cheap. The performance is plentiful good. It's like it's really nice to use, actually. The screen is actually has a, a, a nice benefit. In bright sunlight, the sc this screen work looks great. It looks fine. It's ve far better than average in bright sunlight. So that's a real benefit. Again, great battery life. Nokia claims 21 hours. Uh, and lots of truly valuable Nokia goodies, uh, you know, the mix radio, the, the Molly player, video player, and so on. Those are really great uh, features that you don't get a lot on a lot of other phones. Now, the cons are that it's not super high resolution. The battery's not removable. Uh, it's heavy. It's half a pound, basically. Uh, you can't take advantage of the uh, of the LTE. Um, it's oh, not, it doesn't use LTE in the U.S. It's not only in the U.S. European. Exactly, it. exactly. So uh, when you put the use the use it as a phone and put it up to your ear, it's a little hard to place the speaker. It's a little awkward in that sense. You kind of have to work at it, and the sound quality is not spectacular. It's acceptable in in both directions. Uh, so that's kind of generally speaking a con. And the fact that it only has 5.5 gigs of available storage yeah, is a downside. A and con, and the cameras yeah. are not great. However, I'm giving this a buy because that really price. at that price, this yeah. is this is a really uh, great device for general purpose use that can be used as a tablet and a phone. Super cheap. I, I think this is a, a really solid device and I really like it. Wow. Yeah. You're not switching. No. <laughs> well, I, I, I can see myself buying this for yeah. international travel or as a secondary yeah. device or whatever. At that or price. Instead of buying a, a mini tablet, this would be a great alternative. I just threaten my kids, if you break another iPhone, you're getting a Lumia. Uh, this won't do it. They'll like this, actually. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs>